representation of two big gyms go head to head, WK and the Nosey Academy. A massive step up in class for Marie McManaman here. As she takes on her first full tie rules fight. What a step up that is for a British title against Grace Spicer, who has had a good number of uh, A-class fights now, I believe over 20. Travelled abroad as well, Charlie. It's a massive yep. step up in class. But she's definitely got the minerals, this girl. Oh, definitely. And, and like we said earlier, Chris, Chris knows what put her in if he didn't think that. No. Grace always bringing a good crowd with her. Lots of love. Good entertainer, likeable character. But as is her opponent in the opposite corner. And look how go. comfortable she is in there. Even for her first fights. Obviously they get nervous backstage yeah. and everything. But both these girls are comfortable fighters when you see them in there with good style. She showed a great smile there as her name got called out. Yeah. Shows comfortability. Moments of your life, Charlie. That's it, you remember those for the rest of them. Now, last few performances for Grace as well. She didn't fight well last time. I commentated on her. She's a bit critical of the commentary as well, but you say what you see. She, she fought an Italian opponent that didn't bring out the best in Grace, I didn't think. But Grace did enough and she won her fight, yeah. which was good. But since then, she's uh, travelled abroad, hasn't she, Charlie, as well? Yeah, yeah she fought over uh, on the K1. But again, K1 massive is circuit, completely different. Yeah, you know, Muay Thai is where she's at. Yeah, she's a Thai fighter, definitely. And here she's got McManaman, who's pretty new to the game and, and a lot less experienced than Spice Up. But she's a very calm, collected competitor, and she's gone straight away, tried to push Spice back, but gets turned round. She's showing more aggression right now. She's got the reach advantage there with a little bit of height. Spice is doing a very good, relaxed, controlled, good Faint, counter in. Fainting with her left hand, Spicer, and then going down to the leg. Great feints. McManaman keeps her hands tight as Spicer goes high and keeps a good balance very as good Spicer balance. tries to take yeah. her down. Great balance there. What's she like in personality towards these fights, Charlie Spicer? Oh, she loves him, she loves him. She gets excited, she trains very, very hard. You know, she looks forward to it, she lives for it, she enjoys it. And that's the main thing, I think, when you fight, you have to enjoy it. McManaman's going out with the right attitude here. She's not showing Spicer any respect. She no. knows she's the more experienced competitor, but she's just goes straight out, getting straight in her face and getting yeah. her fight off, isn't she? Like you say, she's not, she's not showing any respect. She's walking forward when she can. Good score then from McManaman. Grace is showing a good evasion skills. Cantering well with some good low kicks. Good right hand from McManaman as she catches the kick. Grace needs to just keep that guard just a little bit tighter. Stop those shots coming in. That's the reach working really well for McManaman. Yeah, just push Spicer back to the ropes. Do you think Spicer should be back on the ropes like this, Charlie? I mean, it's uh, early right in the now. fight. Yeah, exactly that. Right now, it's first round. She can afford to at least. McManaman's finding a way through the hands far too easily at the moment, but got turned around there from yeah. Spicer. Great balance again shown there once she's Second caught. time she's caught a leg and turned around like that. Yeah, that, that can be dangerous later on. Obviously they can elbow in this fight and you yes. never want to show She works out that, that that's what's happening. Yeah. Raw Combat League, ladies and gentlemen, at the Watford Coliseum, I'm Danny Kendrick, joined in the commentary box by Charlie Peters. I predicted this and one other fight would be one of the best fights of the night here tonight. Actually, they started off in a really good fashion. Very exciting, very exciting. As this is the main card, this is for a title. We have five rounds of three minutes. Elbows and knees to the face. You'll see them come on later on in this fight, I'm sure. McManaman misses with a kick and then utilizes the push kick to move Spicer back to stop her countering. And there's the hands again. The right hand finding its way to Spicer far too easily for the double K corner, I'm sure. Yep. Grace caught her back with a good kick, which scores well, but the punches are pushing her back just a little bit. But Grace is a tough old girl. She, she takes is it. Very she can tough. Take it. Do you know, the best 
fight I've seen Grace in was against the girl headline in this card today, Christy Berrington. Yeah. And in that fight, Grace lost that fight, but she was amazing in my opinion, Charlie. I thought Grace was brilliant in that fight. She grew in that fight. She did. Yeah. That, like, I said it to you off, off mic, the, the better opponents bring out the better fight and you don't know as well. Yeah, always. You and that's going to be, so like today that. that's going to be no different from McManaman. She's fighting a very good fighter in Grace Spicer. Yeah. Her game will rise as well. Yeah. She's brought it to her then and if anything she's definitely taken that first round, my friend. She took it to Grace. Grace tried doing very well with the counter kicks. Yep. She kept herself very composed and she never looked in trouble. A no. bit uncomfortable, but never in trouble. No, she, she's a composed girl. She's all right in there. She, she always looks the part. She always looks good, Grace, in there. She always nice tie style. But as is McManaman here as well. Yeah. But like I say, headlining the card today is Christy Berrington in another girls' fight here. I'll be the... Um, be the third ladies fight it's a fight after this one it's an international bout against Soraya Bouchari from France which is a rematch right. but would you like to see Grace fight Christy Berrington again yeah definitely yeah why not I mean you know they it, both it was a really good contest progressed. last time yeah. yep it's an evolution of each fight up. Yep. Each, this next fight if they were to have it would be completely different to the first oh I'm sure it would like I said before Maybe it was the opponent, didn't bring out the best in her when I saw her last fight, but against Berrington, she was amazing. I think we're going to see the best of Marie McManaman and Grace yeah, Spicer in front yeah, of us definitely. now. That's my prediction, ladies and gentlemen. I think you have got a really, really good fight, and we're only in the second round here. Grace is up, ready before. Look at the corner team. She's got over there, Charlie. She's got 423 <laughs> people cornering her here today. Is that allowed? Wow, she's got the support. Good score to the body, McManaman kicking freely off the lead leg. McManaman's Spicer coming in with the hands. Well. She's using her reach, utilising that distance. Is, is Spicer starting to find her range as well though, where she's making Good a kick. miss there. Do you think she'll start capitalising there? She will, she will once she starts seeing it. Good punch from Spicer there when she caught the leg there. Which rocked Backs McManaman up. back, put her in trouble briefly. Nice, good turn. McManaman holds onto the rope to stop Score herself well. going down. But Spicer's coming yep. into it now. Big score, big score there in the clinch. Yep. Throwing her opponent down. After a very good strike as well. Good punch yeah. when she caught the kick. I just said that to you. Is she working out when she's catching the kick? Will she work that out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's starting to answer us, isn't she? Maria has, has very good balance. You know, so sometimes you just want to see the quicker counter. Spicer moving her head well there. Much better after the first round. Good scoring with her right leg. Turning into a good fight this, my friend. Yeah, really good. Very good. We won't see much better girl fights than this in the country. Or male to that point. <laughs> Both girls mixing it up as well. Yeah, they're showing different skills, aren't they? I'd oh. like to see Grace put some punches before the kicks. A heavy artillery on the leg of McManaman there from Spicer. But good kicks. But a good push kick in the middle there to just off balance her when she tried to throw the kick to the body. McManaman now checking that low kick. McManaman looking comfortable even after that little flurry. She takes the centre of the ring here as well, which is a good thing to do. Spicer's now got her back off the ropes and bringing the fight to McManaman as well. Both girls are standing there now, standing in front of each other, trading off. That's what you like to see. Again, Spicer caught that leg. She catches it a lot, doesn't she? She's she working out what to it, do, yeah. isn't she? Sometimes I teach just to catch it, drop it, and kick back straight away. Don't yeah. worry about all the fancy slow showboating stuff. No, you don't need sometimes in Thailand, if you kick the body and you catch it and you just put the opponent to the floor, in Lumpini, they'll score that to the person who's actually gone down to the floor. They score yeah. the body kick. They think yeah. you're trying to get out of the fight by putting them down. Again, good balance shown there. It's a good fight. Spice is starting to get aggressive now and bring it on. And she's not scrappy when she does it, is she? If she, no, she, she, she wants to get mad and get aggressive, she does it well. The body kicks are working really well for Grace. But the man just standing there, just coming back. Just Lock checks it. with the opposite leg. Yeah. The man is out of range at the moment. She's lost that range she had in the Grace, first Grace round. Grace is almost sussing her out a little bit, moving back when she needs to, moving in when she needs to. She's get, get wearing body kicks on the way in, though. Good hand from yeah. McManaman as well to finish cool. the round. Good round for Spicer as well, yeah, much though. Better, much it's better. game on, ladies and gentlemen. It really is.
this just shows how exciting the rest of the rounds will be. Yeah, it's shaped up, hasn't it? Much better from Spice there. Yeah, you expect people to start slowly in Muay yeah. Thai. You know, that, 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 that's acceptable. It is. You can lose the first round sometimes almost. It, of course. People don't really understand that, but it's about technical ability and working out your opponent. Good talking to from McManaman from Lyndon Knowles in the corner. And Bublia and Marcel Anamini going to work on her legs with the ice packs as Bernice and, yeah, Rory, Bernice, Crawford Aldis and Rory Crawford in the other corner. Yep. Richard Jack in the corner as well. Maria McManaman, she's just being a little bit better with the punches, but for me, Grace is kicking a little bit better. I don't know, Grace, um, Grace well, a lot of body kicks as well. She's definitely kicking the leg better, I'd say, yeah. Charlie, yeah. And Grace has started to time her shots better. Yeah. What, what I could see happening in the first round is Grace was making McManaman miss, but she wasn't making her pay. Okay, she, yeah, yeah. I think she's slowly starting to make her pay, yeah. isn't she? Yeah, I think, I think this round now, she will. She takes a while to warm up sometimes, Grace does. I'm going to say it, you'll probably laugh, but Grace is quite an intelligent fighter, isn't she? She's known to be an intelligent fighter. Yeah, I did, in the say, ring. I did say fighter, right. Charlie. That is right. <laughs> if you're unfamiliar, hashtag Ask Grace. But fighting is about being clever. It really is. It's not just about brawl. Ah, for me, Thai boxing is very much a game. Yeah, K1 is a fight. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there, there, there's a, there is a definite percentage difference in the two sports. Good kick to the body, McManaman, but again gets caught and wears a big right hand. hand. Grace doesn't mind wearing that body kick if she can get that hand off, yeah. you know, because that, that is a problem for McManaman. Nice, good kick back. Grace pinned back to the oh, ropes again, right but now hand. Grace is starting to box. She's good. She's hitting her with the, finding her openings with the right hand. And kicking her again. Manaman very composed, blocks, leaves her leg up higher so she can't respond with another yeah. kick. You think she's been fighting years, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, definitely. You wouldn't think this was her first A class. Good kick to the body, McManaman after a good flurry of punches as well. There's that body kick. As soon as she steps in, Grace is just whipping that round. Yeah, she doesn't mind being on the back foot, Grace, here. She's letting McManaman come forward with that range. Trying to time it. Yeah. And now McManaman hits Grace with her own trick. There you go. Good exchanges Can from both girls. There. There's nothing in this, Charlie. No. It's, a, it's a close fight. This is very good matching. A massive step up, like I said earlier, for McManaman. She's come to the table today. Yeah. Laid her cards down and says, I'm ready for the challenge. Grace Spicer, ranked fighter in the country here. And that is why they're fighting for a British flyweight title. Yeah. No, very much. And Grace it's worthy, isn't it? Anyone that yeah. question it because of McManaman's experience before? Oh, yeah, definitely. The answers are here in the ring right now. Yeah, very much. It shows in the gameplay right now. Sets her hands up well. McManaman's fine, but Grace wears a punch well, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, no, she does. She, oh, she can take it. She's used to sparring us guys at the gym, myself, Luke Whelan, Jamie. Do you lot enjoy punching her in the face? Yeah, why not? Good boys. Nah, but she gives it back just as much. Yeah, nice. Look at that, great left-right body kick there, unanswered, not blocked. McManaman, for me, she's just sitting there waiting too long. You know what, round one I was questioning how Grace could fight with her back to the ropes, actually, but she's answered that now as the yeah. fight's gone on. And like I say, she has worked McManaman out as this fight's gone on and starting to make her pay. Yeah. She's a lot more aggressive. The body kicks are scoring very well. Manaman's so composed though, look. She's got an experienced international fighter fighting in front of her. She's very relaxed. And she, it's, yeah, like, very it's like she's relishing the challenge. Yeah. She's enjoying herself and in there. She's Don't soaking doubt it out. The ring is definitely dominated by McManaman though. Well, she's holding the center very well. She is controlling it very well. Sometimes just Good waiting a little kick. bit too long in front of Grace. But like we said, Grace is comfortable on her back foot with her yeah, back to the road. She's comfortable under pressure, isn't she, Charlie, Grace? Yeah. She doesn't mind it when it's been put on her. No, very much. Good round for both fighters. And I'll tell you what, judges are 
They've got their work cut out. Yeah, tonight. they've got their work cut out. <laughs> they, they, there's that look on the face as you look across the three judges of, am I 100%? <laughs> yeah. Well, straight back into this action like you'd expect. And the girls are really laying it down here. Do you now, know what? It's a really, really good match up here at the Royal Combat League. These two girls, there is nothing in them at the moment for me. Yeah, great matchup this one. Very good. Great started off holding the center of the ring there. Marie's just coming back a little bit aggressive again. Marie aggressive is, start. And Marie is definitely proving she's one for the future here. Yeah. She really is. Oh yeah, definitely. Watch out people. She's only just started this sport really. She's very young. She trains a lot with uh, Lyndon Knowles and um, Alex Bublia. I know that. Good score all the time. And again, a little bit out of range nice. and Grace makes yeah. a pay. Yeah, good body kick, scoring higher. Kicking inside the leg McManaman. And I think her best works when she kicks the body of Grace. But she's got that long range of her legs. Yeah. Grace makes her pay. Good cross hook, low kick return. Punches well, Grace, with the left hook, you know. That, that left hook looks good. Look. Yeah, strong left hook. But Manaman just slowing down a little bit at the moment. I don't know if she's uh that's just her yeah, tired waiting, but Grace is definitely growing. She's looking down. I think she's yeah. going to set the head I kick up. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. She's either going to work that low kick a little bit more, or she's going to fake and go to the head. Grace has definitely found her range that yeah. was questioning early in the fight. But Manaman might have to change a little bit of her plan now. But she is pinning Grace back and she's just picking away, but Grace's guard is tight and it's confusing McManaman. Yeah. She can't get that punch off as easy as she did early in the fight. No, definitely not. Grace learned that from round one. Yep. They're definitely seeing something in the corner and they must have definitely told her that. Denise, all this, another fantastic fighter in her corner who's... Ah. Years of experience. Years of experience. I've seen Bernice for years fighting. Countless world titles herself. Yeah, fighting at the top, top stand, and she really is one of the best British girl fighters, isn't she? Yeah. Nice, good catch and good return there with the right kick. McManaman, a little bit hesitant for me now in this round. Yeah. Spice is bringing it on. She's, she's growing in this fight. Marie started off really well, but as the round's gone on, she, she's hesitating, like you just said. There's a good kick from McManaman and responds with the punch as well. And another time she steps in, definitely better when she kicks high. Yeah. She gives Spicer a lot of problems there. And good hand wow. flurry at the end good of that finish. round as well, McManaman. Yeah, great finish there for her. Great well, finish. I'll tell you what, I'd like to blow the applause 
of one fight or the other, but this fight is going backwards and forwards. It's yeah. such a good matchup, it really is. You could say good and bad about both fighters. Oh, 100%, yeah, definitely. They're both really good in their own way, of course. Marie finished really strong that last round, keeping Grace on the back, push kicking her, punching kicks back. But Grace was started off she's, really strong. She's powerful with that left hook, isn't she, yeah. Spicer? Yeah. It's very fast as she sets it up as well. Well, she knows the game. She's got that experience. Her confidence is building through the she round. Should, yeah, she should grow as the fight goes on, being the experienced fighter as well. But McManaman has got a very animated Nosey Academy corner. I think felt that fight's just slipping away from her yeah. a little bit in that last round. Yeah. I think on the scorecards, Grace is just above. But again, we're back down to that round five. I believe this is round five. And this could be where it's all at. Both intense corners, like you say, you know, both all in there. All yeah. giving them their little one line well, advice. Seems like a calmer corner in the double K corner. The Nosey Academy, very animated. But listen to the crowd getting behind McManaman now as well. It's do or die now. Both girls know what's asked of them. And I think it's going to be fireworks this round. I really do. Yeah. They're both fit. Ah, oh, they both haven't slowed down at all. Good balance there shown by Marie, especially in round five. Manaman holding centre of the ring, but needs to be as active as she was in the first round, the beginning of this fight. And there's a good shot to Spicer that rocks her back. The body kick, the body kick. She's got to keep throwing them kicks. The kicks are the ones that are scoring. Yeah, she's confusing Marie. Spicer. Where she's throwing yeah. the shots at a regular pattern, they're stopping Spicer coming forward. And at the moment, McManaman's freely punching again. Yeah, that, got, literally, Maria was catching there with a good few right hands. And then literally Grace just tightened up her guard a little bit. Got turned around then again. Spicer goes to spinning back fist. No elbows of yet from these two girls. No, not at all. But then again, we haven't had any clinch. No, not at all, really. I think that's McManaman's choice. See how she pushed off and stayed away yeah, there. I wonder if that's a that. game plan from the Nosey Academy. Knowing that Spicer is quite strong in clinch. Good jab there to keep her away and again scoring highly to the body it's now Spicer that's not finding her range yeah she's finding a little bit more uncomfortable right now but Manon's mixing it up quite nicely with the kicks and the push kicks McManaman's definitely better fighter in this round now Spicer had a good round last round it's all great down, balance there all great down balance. to the finer points that the judges are going to look at here McManaman's so comfortable look yeah, you wouldn't believe this was her first A class. No not at all. way. Handling herself really well. She's now got Grace where she wants her, but Grace works her way in with the jab there. You're good there, There's good counter hook, with the kick. But Manaman's ready for her. Do you think Grace thinks she's done enough already and that's why she's hanging back? I'm not too sure. I don't think she does. I, I mean... Maybe at the start of the round she did, but McManaman's coming on really strong, and this could be the round that nicks it. I think McManaman is going to take this fight on this round. I mean, the judges know what they're, what they're doing and what they're scoring, but that's a good position <laughs> from both girls in the end. They're nullifying each other a little bit. Whatever come of this fight, it is a great matchup, and both girls have delivered. Good block from Grace there. She checked that kick very high. Yeah, she took it. Got the block up, but it was unanswered. You've got to be answering. And that's the thing in tie boxing, it's a game. Good defense from McManaman there. Held Grace back with very good luck with her leg. Just going to the end, it's a kick for kick in there. And I tell you what, nice guy. that is a very, very close fight, but McManaman has delivered here. I'm telling you that now. McManaman has delivered. Knows the Academy, she, believe it. I think she's got that, Charlie. The Nosey Academy, believe it. She won it. If you're looking at the corners and the reactions, yep. the Nosey Academy are up in arms. The double K just feel well. I'll tell you what, Grace fought well. Grace fought well. Don't get me wrong. I thought Grace fought very well there. 
but McManaman was just that little bit sharper for me there, Charlie. And I know Grace is your girl and your stable mate. Of course. But you're in a commentary box with me, Charlie. I know. So you have to be that little bit impartial. I know, <laughs> I know, of course, of course. Grace is like a sister to me. Where are you going with that one from Charlie? It was very close. I think Nosey Academy needs it. I think yeah. Marie needs it. She has, no, so. definitely, you know, and, and she showed great maturity. Again, it's, it's, it's like we said earlier, ending round five strong. You know, Maria had her on the back foot, Just looking strong. The kids were pushing You know what? Back. It was an intelligent fight from both girls. Oh, 100%, 100%. And I enjoyed every second of that, I'm telling you. I could watch that again. Unanimous, the judges called it. Well, there we have it, guys. The unanimous decision, that's what the judges called it. All in favour of Marie. 